Hello everybody, welcome back to Guys Little Mode. And today I have another great video for you guys, all right? Now as you guys can see, I am in the practice arena, all right? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to speed boost in NBA 2K23, all right? So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Patreon link down below because it, it does have the best defense and offense in all of NBA 2K23 for Ray, Play Now, online, and for uh, my team, all right? So let's get right into the video. So as you guys can see, I have my boy John Morant, which is one of the best ball handlers in all of uh, 2K23. And right here, if you go to John Morant, they got his, uh, his player card, right? Let's go to attributes. He has a somewhat good uh, ball handler. It's at 95, so that's a really, really high uh, uh, you know, ball handler. So what you guys wanna do in order to speed boost, because the defense this year is really, really good, but the meta this year is rim running, all right? So what you guys want to do is on your right, on your controller, the right stick and hold your right trigger and just simply on the right stick, flick it left, diagonal left like that, flick it first and then run with the player. So that should be the, no, to, e to easily get you past your defender, no matter who you're playing against, whoever the defender is, Kawhi Leonard or whoever, uh, Paul George, LeBron, doesn't matter who the defender is, you should be able to be, you should be able to get right past that defender, all right? So right here, I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So click it to the right and then run it. Boom, then run. Boom, then run. You don't wanna do it, you don't wanna uh, try to run while you uh, flicking, otherwise you're gonna do something like that. Not, now that is a speed boost you guys can do that but the thing this year the stamina your player will get tired really fast so i don't know if you want to be doing that but i mean you can but your player is going to get really really tired and i don't recommend that all right so uh, another way you guys can speed boost is just going be between legs so hold the right trigger right on the right analog stick just go right on it and then uh go uh go to the side you're trying to go to so boom and then go that way boom then go that way boom then go that way it's not i mean it's not hard as long as you just go to practice and just try it out and just see how you know how to really do it because you can do it with any player now some players they will get tired faster than other players trying to do this move like john Morant has a high ball handling rating right so let's go ahead and get this guy right here david roddy i don't know who this guy is but he has a 66 um ball handler right so let's go ahead and put him in let's get him the ball right let's go ahead and do the speed boost boom you can do it with him but they, they won't do it as easy as John Moran, all right? But it will, sometimes if they have a okay, uh, not three, but, but an okay ball handling rating, you should be able to, to do it, all right? Now, some players, they can only do speed boost out of certain moves. So, like my guy, David Roddy, right here, as I just seen right here, if you go behind the back and then move your player, you should be able to get a nice little speed, not even a nice little speed, but he won't even get a little bit of speed boost. But like you should be able to get around the defender if you do do certain moves with certain players, all right? Now with John Morant, he can do it with any move he do, but like this guy, David Roddy, he will get around the defender, but he will get tired uh, faster, way faster than John Morant. Now a guy like Desmond Bain, who's not really a dribbler, but he does has 82 ball handling. Now, if you do the move with him, even though he's not as good or not good ball handling as John Morant, he still get a nice little speed boost, as you guys can see right there, uh, between the legs, uh, nice little moves to get to the basket, all right? Because if they are running smothered or something like that, he should be able to get right past the defender. So right here, looks like he has a Kobe size up, and you should be able to get right past the defender, all right? And remember, it's the right trigger and the right analog stick, and you just flick it whatever direction you want to go, and then you run with the player, all right? So flick it wherever you want to go, then run. Don't do it simultaneously because if you do, it will not work, all right? So as you guys can see, I'm trying to do it all together, and it just it wouldn't work, all right? You need to do it one at a time. So boom, boom right there, and then run. Boom right there, screen three, easy money, all right? So that's why I said that if you go to practice and just try it out, you should be able to do it and this works for my career too so like even if you do play uh my career left and right you can still some you can still do it somewhat it's just not as it's as fast as it was before but you can still somehow you can still do it some ways like boom boom between the leg let's do it between leg boom easy three all right so like i said i hope this video helped you guys it works for current gen next gen uh my career my team play now xbox playstation and all that good stuff all right so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace